Hello folks. Today I'm going to be drawing quadrants again because I want to talk a little bit more about theology, philosophy, whatever you want to call it. And specifically I want to talk about perfectionism uh, and as it relates to two concepts called orthodoxy and orthopraxy. Well, let's start with orthodoxy. Orthodoxy you're probably familiar with from things like the Orthodox Church. And what orthodoxy means is right belief. So ortho is right, doxy is belief. And we're going to make a little scale here that goes from no to yes. And this means how important is orthodoxy? How important is it to believe the right thing? Now, our other principle, orthopraxy, uh, most people are less familiar with that, but you may have heard of it, uh, you, or you may have heard of praxis, same root. So, orthopraxy, and of course, right action. So praxis is action, so orthopraxy, right actions. And again, we're going to go no and yes. How important is doing the right thing? And so now we've got some quadrants. What happens in these quadrants? Well, over here, it doesn't matter if you believe the right thing. It doesn't matter if you do the right thing. This quadrant, nihilism, also depression. <laughs> this is kind of a sucky place to be. Don't like it there. I'm not aware of any religious traditions that really exist there. I'll let me know if, you're, if you know any. But, um, I don't know, Levian Satanism, maybe? I don't know enough about that. Anyway, a little unhappy there. It can be freeing sometimes when you're used to, way over here, we'll get there, uh, to decide, no, none of it matters. But you can't live there. No good. Now, up here, we'll do the opposite one next. Both. It matters a lot what you do. It matters a lot what you believe. Um... Certain Christian traditions end up up here. Uh, Mormonism is here. You need to believe in correct doctrine. You need to also perform the correct ordinances and rituals and things in order to get salvation. And you need to continue doing both those things. Both continue believing in what is right and continue doing right actions your whole life. And any time you mess up on either of those, any time you have a wrong thought, or a wrong action of any kind, that's sin, you gotta repent, you gotta do the whole process of admitting guilt and confessing and yada yada yada, and particularly the really devout Mormons tend to be right up there, all the way over on both. And this is perfectionism. And this is hell. If this is miserable, it's at least a relaxed kind of miserable. This, whew, I tried. I really did. Do all the right things. Think all the right thoughts. Just be perfect. It's in the Bible. Uh, normally I say, you know, I wish that Christians did what Christ said, but that's my one exception. Christ said, be ye therefore perfect. Pfft, no. Perfectionism. Meh. No way. Um, over here, it matters what you do doesn't really matter what you believe. Um, traditional Hellenism is over here. Um, Hellenic polytheism is about the correct rituals. Did you, you know, sacrifice the right kind of bull? Did the reading of its entrails come out right? Like it's the right actions, the right things, the right practices. What you believe, you know, the quiet thoughts in your heart of hearts, is not as important in Hellenism. Um, over here is also where Unitarian Universalists are. Um, they're not all the way to know, and I don't think Hellenists are either. Um, they're uh, somewhere in here-ish. Um, the, <laughs> I've got this, my, my prop. Seven Principles of Unitarian Universalism. That there are things you need to believe, but they're they're pretty broad. You know, 
the inherent worth and dignity of every person. Stuff like that. It's, it's not... There's a lot of wiggle room in what you believe, but it's not all the way that it doesn't matter. It matters a little. What matters a lot more is what you do. And I kind of like that, particularly as uh, Unitarians tend to focus their orthopraxy not on performing correct ritual. In fact, I don't, they don't really have a concept of correct ritual, but on performing correct social justice, basically. They go to protests, they support pride, pride movements, they uh, provide food for the homeless. Uh, my local congregation does what they call food justice, which is making sure that um, people in the court system are fed because that's not always provided when somebody is stuck at court all day defending themselves. They, they may not be given a meal. And so the Unitarians go in and feed them. That kind of thing. Um, very good. I like this. Um, I would say I'm probably about there too. Helen, somewhere within Hellenism, Unitarianism, this general, that general vicinity, maybe a little bit over here. I, I have some thoughts about what might be correct belief. I just hold those thoughts for me, not necessarily for everybody. Anyway, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, now down here, so it doesn't matter what you do, it only matters what you believe. Evangelical Christianity, particularly the worst parts of it, right down there. Because of course, you believe that Christ is your savior, you accept him, you are saved by grace, as a belief, it doesn't matter what you do. This is toxic. Um, your personal salvation may be great, but if your actions don't matter, I mean, that's a hell of a way to live. Your actions don't matter at all, and there's no incentive to do the social justice, to make the world a better place, to help other people. Now, I'm not saying all evangelicals are toxic, but this particular quadrant is just, it's got some problems. And the people all the way on the know, on the orthopraxy, where the only thing that matters at all is that salvation. Actually, I guess they'd be right over here. Belief matters ultimately. The extreme corners of this are terrible. Um... This is my personal least favorite, but this is not far off. And if you are listening to this and you are feeling offended on behalf of evangelicals, well, they should do better, if you see what I mean. <laughs> and any ones that do actually do better, um, then they exist somewhere further up. And that's fine. If you're up here, sure, all right, so the salvation is really important and the doing is also important. Cool, you're fine. This, uh-uh, also this, nope. No perfectionism, the, the top line of orthopraxy, uh-uh, go away. And I see, by the way, I see Hellenists. I see a lot of people, especially new people, somewhere up here, worried about right practice worried about if they set up their shrine wrong or they make the wrong offering or they they do some little mistake that that you know they'll anger the gods no uh-uh 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 hellenism is down here not up there um, when i first started worshiping i set up one shrine and i put little tokens for all my gods in there and that meant <laughs> i put my tokens for thanatos a sonic god in with the ones for Ares and Aphrodite and Hermes and and that's you know quote unquote wrong <laughs> and it was fine I, I I have no sense that I angered Thanatos with that I don't think there was anything wrong with it once I found out that you're meant to uh, separate the Chthonic and the Uranic gods I, I made Thanatos his own little shrine and he has his own little space and you know I, I did better once I learned better, but perfectionism is hell. Spiritually, practically, creatively, I've talked about this in my creative videos before. If you're trying to make something and you want to make it perfect, you're torturing yourself with something that's probably unattainable. Don't do it. No perfectionism. Bad. Uh-uh. So this whole bar, absolutely out. This quadrant, 
depressing. These guys, boo. Over here, nice. And you know, this is a rare case where I think moderate centrism is actually the correct position. There's a lot of places where you can't compromise. You don't compromise with the Nazis and, you know, meet in the middle and murder half as many Jews. No. <laughs> but sometimes, some ways, uh, a moderate position can be very helpful and very healthy. I think this is one of them. So there's my thoughts on perfectionism, orthodoxy, orthopraxy. I hope you enjoyed hearing them, and I will see you later.